Four players all lusting after this shiny jackpot counter, but will any of them lure it from the clutches of this mechanical madam? We're about to find out on Tipping Point. Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Let's meet the four players who are hoping to win thousands today. I'm Rhys, a veterinary nurse from Merthyr Tydfil. I'm Jill, a cookery teacher from Newcastle. I'm Paul, an IT analyst from Manchester. And I'm Tilly, a math student from London. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will have £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with a jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. However, do remember, the player with the lowest score at the end of this round will be leaving the game. So keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Right, hands with your buzzers, comes your first question. In which country of the UK is the city of Perth located? Paul. Scotland. It is in Scotland, yes. Well done, Paul. Uh, so you get to make the first choice. Would you like to play or pass? Play to play, please. Where are you going to go? Uh, drop zone one. Drop zone one for Paul. Settled nicely there, yeah, against the edge. Is it going to bring the mystery forward? Yes, Ooh. it does. Go on. And they've separated, which can work. There's one in already anymore. And, again. and another one. Two Let's counters there for you, Paul. £100 for those two. Thank you. Let's take that from the machine and put it straight into your bank. So you're off the mark with £100. You've got two counters still to play. Good start. Next question. Michael Doherty's 2019 fantasy film is titled Godzilla, King of the What? Tilly. Monsters. It is King of the Monsters. Nicely oh, nice done, Tilly. Tilly. Thank you. Uh, would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'm going to pass it to Reese, please. Right then, Reese. Tilly's not ready to play, so you're going to have to. Where would you like to go? Uh, drop someone, please. Drop someone, it is. Yeah, that's a similar spot to Paul, isn't it? Perfect, what I wanted there. Two over the top shelf. Is the bottom ready? Oh, come on. Yeah, it is. Oh, Nicely nice done. Nice Four counters for you there, Reese. Very generous, Tilly. I know. 200 pounds. <laughs> Let's take that and put it into your bank. So it gets you off the mark, Reese, with 200 pounds. You've got two counters still to play. Brilliant. Next question. Otoño is Spanish for which of the four seasons of the year? Reese. Autumn. It is autumn, yes. You gonna play again? Yes, I'll play this one, Ben. Where are you gonna go? Drop someone again, please. One up again. Oh, slow. It was a slow, laborious drop. You've got mm. it on its edge. Should go flat. Good. Now, can we get you anything over that top shelf there, Reese? Good squeeze here. Go on then. Let's go for another four. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Lovely. If it spins slightly. Oh, nicely done. More than I'd four. That's that. six across the tipping point, Reese. 300 pounds right there. It's a really nice drop. Let's take it and put it into your bank. Put you on 500 pounds with one counter still to play. Next question. What shallow part of a river or stream that can be crossed on foot shares its name with a well-known make of car? Paul. It's a Ford. It is a Ford, yes. Would you like to play, Paul? I would. Drop zone two, please. Drop zone two for Paul. <laughs> Drops and slides nicely. Go on. Good squeeze here. Go on. Yes. Oh, is it separated? Yeah, Not quite. Go on. And four counters for you this time, Paul. Thank 200 you. pounds. Let's take it and put it straight in your bank. That'll put you on 300 pounds with one counter still to play. Next question. The Billboard Music Awards are held annually in which country? Tilly. USA. Yes, America. You're going to play this time now, Tilly? Yes, I'm going to play. OK, Why where not? are you going to go? Um, I'm going to go drop down two, please, then. Right, fire up two, please. Hopefully 
to go to right. Yep, that's down the right-hand side, isn't it? Speak it into existence. <laughs> Is it gonna split, though? Oh. Oh, oh, no, they dropped. They did drop, Dilly. And three counts of sneak out. Okay, very good. 150 pounds for you. Let's take that and put it straight into your bank. We'll put you on 150 pounds with two counters mm -hmm. still to play, Tilly. Nice start. Next question. Sophia Gardens in Cardiff is a test match and county venue for matches in which bat and ball sport? Reese. Cricket. It is cricket, yes. One last count. Do you want to play it? Yes, I'll play this one again, please. Where are you going? Drops on two, please. Drops on two, it is. Not what I want to do, but I'll quite. settle for it. Let's see if it squeezes around those counters. Two over the top shelf. Another one. Mm. <sighs> Sadly, nothing from the bottom, though. So, Reese, you're down £500. You have used all three counters, so for the time being, you are out. Yep. Next question. In May 2019, Matty Diop became the first black female director to compete for the Palme d'Or at which French film festival? Tilly. Cannes. It is Cannes, yes. Um, I'm going to go drop zone three, please. All please. right, let's have drop zone three for Tilly. Changing it up here, Tilly. Ooh. Nice drop, good settle, Tilly. Really good squeeze Hopefully here. Hopefully they go. Oh, no. Oh. Just setting them up. Found a little gap at the back of the yeah, shelf somebody there. Somebody else will get that one now. <laughs> <laughs> Just clinging to the top shelf, so nothing from that yeah. drop. You've got one left to play. Next question. Pop Larkin is a central character in the H.E. Bates novel, The Darling Buds of what? Jill. May. It is The Darling Buds of May, Jill. Yes, well done. Right, do you want to play? Yeah, I'll try Drop Zone 3, please. Drop Zone 3 it is. Ooh, that's nice. Perfect. Just where Tilly left her counters, dangling on the edge. Uh, and they've separated nicely for you as well, Jill, if they stay like that. Really lovely first drop. Five counters, Jill. Very nice start. £250. Let's take it and put it into your bank. It's going to put you just behind Paul. You've got £250 with two counters still to play. Next question. A squash ball is traditionally made from what material, Jill? Rubber. It is rubber. Yes. Do you want to play or pass? I'll play drop zone three, please. Three again, please. They are stacking up nicely there, Jill, aren't they? Hopefully. Yeah, again. Hits it again. Here we go. Miss you down. There's a bit of a... Oh, is there a gap there, though? Got four nonetheless, Jill. £200. Well done. Thank you. Let's take it from the machine and put it straight into your bank. It's going to put you just behind Reese. You've got £450. You've got one left to play. Next question. Seoul is a capital city located on which continent? Paul. Asia. It is Asia, yes. So one last counter for you, Paul. Do you want to play it? Drop zone three, please. Let's have drop zone three. Settled well. Maybe. But Maybe. To the right hand side this time. Anything going over the top shelf here? Oh, yes. Two Go drop on. down here. Go on. And oh. three counters to finish you off. 150 pounds. Left a few on the tipping point, but we'll take them. Put it into your bank. That draws you level with Jill on 450 pounds. You've used all three counters now, so for the time being, you're out. Just Jill and Tilly left in with one counter left each. Next question for the two of you. What does the O stand for in the band name, commonly abbreviated to E-L-O? Jill. Orchestra. It is orchestra. Now, you've got one counter left. Do you fancy playing it, or would you like to make Tilly play hers? Ooh. I think I'll make Tilly play her. Yes. Right, Tilly, here we go. Big challenge for you here. Oh, no, um, I think I'm going to go back to drop zone two. Drop zone two for Tilly. Yeah. Fire it up. Six counters you need, Tilly. Oh, There's six that we need. Let's get that double forward. There's enough on the tipping point. Oh. Flip nicely. Ooh, thank you. Nice spread. Good. Is it going to go? Is it going to go? Oh. Is it going to be enough? Oh, Tilly, you needed six. That's five across oh. the tipping point. You just come up short. 250 pounds. Let's take it and put it into your bank. It's going to put you on 400 pounds, so 50 pounds yeah. shy of both Paul and Jill. You've now used all three counters. So yeah. for the time being, you are out. And as you're in last place, unless Jill gets this question wrong and there's something to play for in the penalty part, I'm afraid we'll be losing yeah. you at the end of the round. It's okay. 
All right, here we go, Jill. It's just you left in, because it's just you. You don't need to use your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put that last counter into the machine, okay? Here we go. Comedy actress Nicole Byer is the host of Baking Show Nailed It and which online streaming service? Netflix. It is Netflix, Jill. Well done. <laughs> you got that right under a lot of pressure then. It's a good Jeez, I'm so Honestly. sorry. I mean, That's we're going to okay. lose you at the end of the round. Have a good day. Right, one more counter for you here, Jill. If you can get one more out, you'll catch Reese. If you get more than that, you'll take the lead. What are you thinking? Drop zone four. Fire four up, please. Useful yet? Yeah? Glean as you like. Just slides down. I don't think that's going to do anything. Do you know? Or is it Maybe. now? Yeah, it looks good. It is. It's going to deliver the lead. Well done. Four Ooh. counters, Jill. Nicely Wowzers. done. 200 pounds <laughs> for you there. Let's take it and put it into your bank. And that drop changes the scores dramatically. Jill is now leading with 650 pounds. Reese has 500 pounds. Paul has 450 pounds. Tilly, you've come so close. But I'm afraid with 400 pounds, we have oh, found your tipping point. Thank you for playing, Tilly. No worries. Thank you for having Lovely me. Lovely to meet you. Yes, you too. Join me after the break to see which of today's three reigning players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our 10,000 pound jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Reese, Jill and Paul have all survived to play in round two. In this round, they'll each have 30 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine, as before. The player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. So, Jill, you are now leading, which means you have the power to choose. Would you like to play first, or would you like to ask one of the boys to play? I'm going to ask Reese to play. OK. Reese, you're up first. Thank 30 seconds much. for Reese, please. Your time starts now. Tower Bridge is a famous landmark in which UK capital city? London. Correct. Yul Brynner won the Best Actor Oscar for his role as the King of Siam in which 1956 musical film? Miss Saigon. The King and I. In mythology, who was the Roman equivalent of the Greek god Poseidon? Neptune. Correct. Which type of pasta goes before hoops in the name of a tinned food made by Heinz? Spaghetti. Correct. What is the first name of the Conservative MP nicknamed Failing Grayling by the press? Oh, pass. Chris. Created for the 2019 Women's World Cup footballer Rocky Race is the sister of which comic strip character? It's Roy. Roy. Roy Race or Roy of the Rovers. Well Thank uh, you. Three correct answers in there, Reese. So three chances to try and catch Brilliant. Jill and go past her. Where do you want to start? Um, I think drop zone four looks pretty good at the moment. Okay. I'll start there, please. Drop zone four. Just the one counter being in it so far. Might take some out in three here with a bit of lateral. That'd be nice. Yeah, there you go. Exactly That'll that. Do. Three counters. A nice start, Reese. 150 pounds. That'll catch Jill. Brilliant. I'll uh, stick with drops on four, please. Drops on four again, please, for Reese. That's a bit to pop on the set a bit further right. It's good, isn't it? Try and get that mystery out. Oh, yes. Oh. Took its time, but dropped in the end. Ah. Just loaded Big old in. clump of counters there, isn't it? Yeah, there is. You've got one more to go, Reese. Staying with drop zone four? I think I'll stay with four. Four up, please. Try my best. Mm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? A little bit of lateral might work. Squeezing through. That, that one on the top might go as well. It might do, might not it? Do drop Two. in there. Just keep an eye on that silver counter that's on the slide. Is it going to make it? Nah. Being cruel to me. Somehow it's resisting your charms, Reese. It is, yeah. Uh, sadly, you're not going to get that. But two counters did drop, so let's add that in. Takes you to 250 pounds. And when we take it from the machine and put it into your bank, that will put you in the lead. 100 pounds ahead of Jill. 750 pounds. Well done. Thank you very much. Okay, Jill, you're back in charge again. It did finally drop. Sadly, all those counters have fallen out of play, so they will have to be voided from the machine. Right then, Jill, we come back to you. You are just ahead of Paul. You can play or you can pass in the hope that he fills it up for you. Yeah, I think I will pass to Paul. <laughs> Here we go then, Paul. OK. 30 seconds for Paul, please. Your time starts now. Advent candles with numbers printed on them are traditionally lit during which winter month? December. Correct. Spätzle is a noodle dish from which European country? Germany. Correct. Used in creams to protect the skin from UV rays. What does the P in SPF stand for? 
Pass. Protection. The title of the 1999 film starring Brad Pitt is Fight What? Club. Correct. Boliviano is the national currency of which South American country? Bolivia. Correct. Which former Beatle composed the 1991 classical music piece Liverpool Oratorio? Paul McCartney. It is Paul McCartney, but you're just out of time, Paul, sadly. Four correct answers, though. When I'm asking you what P stands for SPF, I only laugh because you said pass, and I'm like, no, it's not pass. <laughs> <laughs> it's protection. <laughs> you have given yourself a crack, though, with four counters. Uh, what are you thinking there, looking at the machine, Paul? I'll try drop zone two, please. Yep, far up two. There's a double there, isn't there? Just four counters to catch Jill. That double could really put some distance between the two of you as well. Oh, risky drop then, yeah. Paul. It is flat, though. You got away with it. Yeah, you're going to get a couple over. Was that silver counter going to just stagger Go on. back? Go on. Oh, it just sneaks out. Well done. Go on. Mm. They're going to hang on for a little bit. OK. Three more to go, Paul. Same again. Drops on two, please. Two again, please. Yeah, that's the way. Nice. Not bad, not bad. It's much better, isn't it? Right through. It should move the double Go forward on. as well. That's what we're after. That one's dropped in, so that'll be yours. Mm, that one drops in. You can have that one too. Didn't quite get as much as I thought on the double, but £100 though, Paul. Let's put it into the machine. You've got two more to go. Drops on two again, please, Ben. OK. Drops in two again, please, for Paul. Similar spot again. Is it going to fill a hole? Is it going to get a squeeze, a bit of lateral? Silver one's down. Come on. Come on. Two more to catch Jill. That might get the double going. Oh, it's getting heavy. Oh. So they're all stacked up nicely, Paul. You've got one more to go. Drops on two again, please. One please. last hit on two, please. Jill's desperate for them to stay in the machine. <laughs> Can we access that tipping point? Oh. A bit further right. Could work if you take that stack in Come the middle on. out. There. Oh, Ooh, in two oh, and three. Are you going to finally get some action? Yes, you are. Four more counters, Paul. So it's another £200, including the one that jumped out of the machine. 300 in total. Let's take that and put it into your bank. That draws you level with Reese on £750. Yeah. Very nicely done. It's getting very close, this. Right, Jill. Nowhere to hide now. Nope. 30 seconds for Jill, please. Your time starts now. Contact lenses are worn on which organ of the human body? I. Correct. The name of which continent is the title of a 1983 UK number three hit by Toto? Africa. Correct. Which constellation is represented in the International Astronomical Union Code by the letters PSC? Pisces. Correct. The proverb meaning a child has similar qualities to their parent is the apple doesn't fall far from the what? Tree. Correct. Which Star Trek character has been played on film by Zachary Quinto and Leonard Nimoy? Ooh, Dr. Spock. I can accept. J. Edgar Hoover, Robert Muller, and James Comey have all served out of time on this Ice one. Cream. I served ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they have at some point. <laughs> all served as director of which US government agency? The FBI. It's the FBI. Didn't need it. Five correct answers, Jill. Nice one. Oh, really, nice really one. good response all the way through that. Absolutely fantastic. I can accept Dr. Spock. Do you know he wasn't actually a doctor, though? It was just Kirk they used to call him doctor because he was a scientific type character, but Spock or Dr. Spock will do. Nice answer there. And you've got five counters to try. And catch the boys. They've both got £100 more than you. Where would you like to start? I'm going to try drop zone two. OK, drop zone two it is. Any more than two and you're in the lead now. There is a gap there, though. Mm -hmm. But you can fill it. You've got enough. That silver might still go. It does. Is it going to do it? Yes, it is. Well done. Two counts across oh, the tipping point. Oh, what a point. waste of a double <laughs> <laughs> Well, £100 is what you got for those two, and we can double it up and give you another £100, which puts you in the lead now. Takes you to £200. Four more counts still to go. I think I'll try drop zone one, please. OK. We're going to go to drop zone one, please. Done with that settling for you there, Jill. That looks ridery. Oh, it isn't. It's settled itself. Well done. That worked out nicely. Here's the tipping point going to give you some action, though. Separate there. Not this time. Mm. Lining up nicely. Still got three more to go, Jill. 
I'll stick with drop zone one. One again, please. Drop. A bit further left this time, might split them. Could work though if it worked. It does. Yeah, there we go. Now that should be strong. Is that mystery gonna get close? That's a nice drop. Well done, Jill. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Another six there, Jill. Another 300 pounds. Up to 500 in the machine. You've got two more to go. I'll stay with drop zone one, please. One again, please. The mystery's getting close now, isn't it? Might just fill that gap. Yeah. That's okay though. There you go. And one more to put in. Yeah, I'll uh, stay with drop zone one. One last hit on drop zone one, please. Oh, slams wow. down. Holds on just between the middle. Could finish with a flourish here, Jill. Is the mystery gonna go? And a few more. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Somehow not. Just clinging to the tipping point. <laughs> you can scream and stamp all you like, Jill. It's not going to go, sadly. Not just yet. But £500 is enough to put you through. So let's take that and put it into your bank. That's going to leave you on £1,150. So well done. So Jill is through. She's in first place with £1,150. Both Reese and Paul have £750. Only one of you can join her in the next round. So it's back on the buzzers and it's time for sudden death. I'm going to ask you both one more question. If you buzz and give me the correct answer, you go through. If you buzz and give me the wrong answer, your opponent goes through. Okay? Mm -hmm. Best of luck to both of you. Here comes your sudden death question. Which word follows lap in the name of a portable computing device designed... Reese? Top. Designed to rest on the legs. Of course it is. Well done, Reese. Laptop. Sorry, Paul. Oh. You came very close, but we do have to lose you because we've come to the end of the round. Jill is leading with £1,150. Reese sneaks through on sudden death with £750. Paul, I'm so sorry, oh, but that does mean with £750, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing, Thanks, Paul. Thanks, man. Thank you. Great to meet you. So it is Reese and Jill who will be going head to head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Tipping Point. We have just two players remaining, Reese and Jill. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one of you is going to take on the machine for our jackpot today. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. And whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. Jill, you're leading after the last round, so you get to choose. Would you like the first question or would you like to offer it to Reese? Yes, Ben, I think I'll take the first question. All right, here we go then, Jill. In the 2019 TV series, What We Do in the Shadows, what type of supernatural creatures are Laszlo and Nandor? You can play this or you can pass it. OK, well, I haven't got a clue and I wouldn't dare to hazard a guess. I reckon Reese knows. Right. But I'm just going to have to You've pass, got to pass it, it nonetheless. anyway. Okay, so Jill's looking at you, Reese, and thinking you might like your supernatural creatures. I do. Do you know the TV series What We Do in the Shadows? Not this one. Ah, okay. Unfortunately, I've watched so, many supernatural programs, but not this one. I mean, I could hazard a guess. I know there's a couple of supernatural creatures that have very fancy names. I'll probably go with vampires. You're going with vampires? Jill, what do you reckon? Vampires? Could be. As good as any, let's see. Are Laszlo and Nandor vampires? Yes, they ah, are. Well done. Great steal that, that Reese. Well done, mate. I would have never got it. Well, you had to pass it over, and Reese, you get the counter because you were right. Where do you want to put it? I think I'll try and get that mystery out of drop zone one, Ben, please. Let's do it. Fire up one. Eight counters between you, and there's certainly enough on the tipping point there. Mm. Ooh, might this just squeeze it all a bit laterally, though? Yeah. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. <sighs> no. Close. Nothing drops, so no damage, fortunately, hmm. Jill. You do keep control, though, Reese. Time for your first question. In July 2018, Chelsea signed Italian midfielder Jorginho for £57 million from which Italian club? You can play this or you can pass it to Jill. I'd love to say I know, but I'm more of a rugby boy. Ah, OK. So football, I have no idea, so I think, unfortunately, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to pass it over. Jill looks thrilled about that. <laughs> Do you like your football at all, Jill? Um, I, I think the only ones I 
I can think of as like Lazio, Juventus. Um, that's all I can really think of. I'll go with Lazio. Go with Lazio. Let's find out. Is the answer Lazio? No, it's not. It's Napoli. They signed him from Napoli. I wouldn't have got that either. No, good guess though, Jill, <laughs> but it was wrong, sadly. So, Reese, you get the counter. I'm trying to get that mystery out of drops on one, Ben. <laughs> drops on one it is. Oh, now there's another gap. Hopefully a little bit of lateral will push would that really one Would really help. Squeeze it there. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's brutal. Hard luck, Reese. Mm. Just found two gaps on that top shelf, so fortunately, for Jill, the scores stay as they were, and you get control again, Jill. Time for your second question. Born William Broad, which pop rock singer had an 80s hit with the song White Wedding? Can oh, play pass? well, it's my era. <laughs> um, I think it was Billy Idol. You going with Billy Idol? Yeah. Okay, Reese, what would you have said? Billy Idol. Billy Idol. Definitely. Let's find out if Jill's right. Was it Billy Idol? Yes. So you've got ELO and you've got Toto and now Billy Idol as well. <laughs> <laughs> Loving a bit of 80s music. Yeah. Right then, Jill, where do you want to go? I'm going to go for drop zone one. One up, please. Yeah, nice. That looks like it could do all sorts of damage. There you go. Is the mystery going to go? After all Reese's hard work. Oh, and then some. Wow. What a drop. <laughs> oh, hold on. That little cluster on the edge dropped in as well. Well done. Jill, that's 15 across the tipping point. A lot of hard work from Reese for those first two counts, but you get the benefit. Let's take £750 from the machine and put it into your bank. Very well done. Goodness me, that's going to put you on £1,900. In amongst all of that, there is a mystery counter as well, so you've won yourself a prize. I think you might like this. It's a cocktail slushy machine, courtesy of Iwantoneofthose.com. <laughs> Lovely. Perfect for a cookery teacher, that, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to be good. You'll enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, more importantly, you have a good, strong lead, and Reese has a lot of money to make up. But, Reese, you get back control. Time for your second question. Careless and Leveller are varieties of which sharp tasting berry, which is usually green and covered in tiny hairs? You can play this or you can pass this to Jill if you're not sure. Being a cookery teacher, I don't particularly want to pass it, but I think I've, I've got no choice. You're going to pass, pass it over, over, please? Oh, come on then, Jill. Show us how good you are. The only green berry that I can think of, and I've got one in my garden, but it keeps on getting eaten, is uh, gooseberry. Going with gooseberry? Yeah. yeah. Is the answer gooseberry? Yes, it is. Well done, Jill. You've got another counter to put in the machine here. It's a really good steal. Where do you want to go? I think I will go drop zone four, please. All right, let's have drop zone four. Mystery on the edge as well. Took its time to drop. Could do with one going. It's flat. Yeah, that's flat. If it pushes those few through, it might take out a couple on the tipping point. There, yes, just squeezes them off. It's a nice couple coming through. And they do drop. You're right, Reese. Two counters there. You continue your march here, Jill. Going along very nicely. That's another hundred pounds. Let's take it and put it straight into your bank. Put you on two thousand pounds. Right, Jill. You keep control. Time for your third and final question. What was the name of the daughter of Henry the First who fought King Stephen for her right to the English throne? Any ideas? Oh, history isn't my strong point. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, again, I wouldn't know where to hazard a guess, so I am going to pass it to Reese. Right, okay. Reese. we could do a steal this if we can. Well, I, I know it's not right for Elizabeth I is coming to mind for some, mm -hmm. some reason. Um, I'll go with Mary the First. Mary the First, okay, you had to go with something. Mary the First, Reese thinks Jill. Did you have any ideas? No. Not really? Okay, <laughs> no. let's see if you're right, Reese. Was it Mary the First? No, it was Matilda. Ah. Oh, it was oh. Matilda. Uh, good try, though, Reese. Jill, you get the counter. Where do you want to put it? I'll try drop zone four, please. Drop zone four again. A bit further left this time. Anything looking good? 
Yeah, could work. Those two could get squeezed far enough. No. Nope. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> you have little faith, well Jill. <laughs> Another 100 pounds crosses the tipping point. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. Put you on 2,100 pounds. Right then, Reese, one last chance and one last question for you. The names of how many US states begin with the letter C? Now, you can play this or you can pass it to Jill. I think I'll play. Are you going to play it? Yeah, I think so. And I think there's definitely California and Connecticut, and then I don't know whether or not Carolina or if it's North Carolina. So I'll go with two. Can you go with two? Yeah. Jill, what would you have said? Did you have any ideas? I would have guessed at three, maybe. You might have guessed at three. OK, let's see, Reese, because we need this counter just to have one last crack at this. If not, Jill, you're our winner. The US states beginning with the letter C. Is there two? It is three. The only one you forgot, Colorado. Oh. Well, there's always one. There's always yeah. one you don't think <laughs> yeah. of. Uh, Jill, very well played. You played a cracking game all the way through, and you get one last counter to put into the machine before we play for the jackpot. So where do you want to go? Drop zone four, please. All right, drop zone four again. Try and get that mystery out. Yeah, it'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's been on the edge a long, long time. I like a good mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Settled in a nice place. Might be good, yeah. Yes, is Lovely. it gonna finally Ooh. gonna drop? Yes, it is. Great shot, <laughs> Hundred pounds again. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And of course, you've got your hands on your second mystery prize, which is an overnight stay for two at a choice of ten UK locations, courtesy of De Vere. Oh wow! Which should be a lovely That's price. Lovely. More Thank importantly, you. though, with two thousand two hundred pounds, Jill, you are today's winner. Very well played. Thank it's been you. a cracking game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Maurice, you battled really hard. That certainly wasn't your round, though, was it? You did try really hard, but. With £750, I'm afraid we have found your tipping point. Thanks for playing, Reese. Thank you very much. It's been lovely. Great to meet you. So, Jill, you're through to the final, which means in a few moments I'm going to ask you to put this chatbot counter into the machine. It's a little bit bigger than all those others, but so much better, because if you can get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Wow. Can Jill master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. It is Jill who is our winner and has managed to get £2,200. Very well done. Thank you. You've seen off all the others. It's just you and our machine now in a battle of wits to get £10,000, maybe even £20,000, Jill. If you were to get the jackpot out, any ideas what you might like to do with the money? Oh, I would have to go on a shopping spree. I've right. got a few favourite high street stores that I could easily spend a lot of money in. Enjoy <laughs> yourself. Well, fingers crossed we get that out because you can do with it whatever you would like. Thank and I'm sure you'd have great fun doing just that as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. <laughs> Time to find out whether Jill's going to win our jackpot. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. You want to go home with £10,000? Just get it out again. Plans are going home with £20,000. See if you can get it to drop with that double counter. Here's how you're going to do it, Jill. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you choose to play one, two, or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question's going to be. But the more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. So we need to put the precious jackpot counter into the machine. Where are you thinking? I am thinking drop zone four. Fire up four, please. There we go. Right Rattles in the down, middle. And it's going to come alongside the double. Yes, nestle right up to it. Yeah. Looks good like that, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> And there's a fair few on the bottom shelf we can collect as we go, but you've got it nice and flat, slap bang in the middle of drop zone four. Right, let's have a look at your categories. This is what we have for you, Jill. Let's see. Astronomy, food and drink, literature. That's good. Sport, nature and film. We can play them in any order you like. So where do you want to start for how many? I think I'll just go top to bottom okay. and see what happens. So we start with astronomy? Yes. For how many? I think I'll try for three counters, because I'll either know it or I won't. Let's see. Astronomy for three. The name of which type of celestial body is ultimately derived from a Greek word meaning wanderer? Star, moon, or planet? <laughs> I'll go for... Planet. Planet? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna light up planet, please. Let's find out. Is that the correct answer? Yes! Okay. <laughs> Right, three counters. Drop zone four. Drop zone four, please. Fire it up, please. Wow. 
That was quite aggressive. It's like a it? rocket. Okay, just nudge the double forward. Okay. Four again. Yes, please. Light it up. Doubles on the wobble. It is. Are they weighted more or something? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they just fly out. There's the double down. You could do with that sliding alongside it. There you go, go that way. Yeah, we didn't want it to go too far. Ooh. That's a nice drop though, isn't it? Yeah. Eight counters there, 400 wow. pounds. Great. We can put that in. It takes up to 2,600 pounds. One more to go as well. Drop zone four, please. Fire it up, please. Come on, then. Land and just slide mm. to the jackpot. Go, yes, now. A bit better. It hits that flat counter first. Go on, stay on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It Squeeze magic. it forward. Nicely well. done. Well done. We've got it to the edge of the shelf. And two more drop-ins, so we can give you another 100 pounds. We're up to 2,700 pounds. Your jackpot counter's already at the edge of the shelf. Great. Great stuff. Let's go back to the categories then. Do you want to hit food and drink now? I'll hit food and drink now, hopefully. For one? I'll go for three, and hopefully I can answer it. No pressure, what with you no being... No pressure. ...cookery teacher. Food mm. and drink for three. The spicy rice, lentil, and macaroni delicacy known as koshari is one of the traditional national dishes of which country? Egypt, Ireland, or Portugal? Okay, I've never heard of Kashari. Right. Um, I think I can rule out Ireland. It could be Portuguese, but I'm going to go for Egypt. Okay, we're going to go with Egypt. You're the cookery teacher, you should know. Is it a national dish of Egypt? It is indeed, well Thank done. Thank goodness. <laughs> sort of street food. Yeah, I've never been to Portugal or Egypt, so... Maybe when you go, you can have some Kashari. Yes. Right, drop zone four. Yes, please. Fire it up. Ooh, yeah. Wow. That'll slide right in behind Funny it there, one, Jill. Yeah. There you go. Shuffle Good. the others out. Nicely done. Two to go. Four again. Yes, please. Drop Fire zone it up. four. Done with a bit more of a rebound there. Yeah. That might squeeze it though. Ooh, That's a it forward little, attack. A little bit. 50 pound goes in. Lovely. Takes you 2,750. Thank you. One more to go as well. Drop zone four, please. Fire it up, please. Now hit that silver counter in the middle. Get mm. it down. Yes, Jill, yes, wow, look at that. that looks good. Go on, stay on it. Stay squeezing, squeezing straight, squeezing squeeze straight, squeeze. squeeze. Yes, go on then. It's all going very nicely. Three counters drop in, another 150 pounds. Takes you to 2,900 pounds. Your jackpot counter in just six counters is on the bottom shelf. Wow. It's a really great start. Let's go back to the categories. Okay. So we're hitting literature next. I'm really not very hot on literature, but again, I think I'll try three counters and just... Worked so far, hasn't it? See, yeah. See. Okay, literature for three. Which teenage spy appears in the novels Skeleton Key and Eagle Strike by Anthony Horowitz? Alex Ryder, Cammie Morgan or James Choke? Yeah, as I predicted, I don't know the books, I don't know the author, and I haven't heard of any of the characters. But I'm just trying to sort of think of what kind of name an author might choose for a teenage spy. Um, and I'm going to have a guess. I'm going to just guess with uh, Alex Ryder. Alex Ryder? Yeah. Light up Alex Ryder, please. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Alex Ryder? It is. I'm being very lucky today, Ben. <laughs> right, three counters. Yes. Drop zone four. Yes, please. Drop Light zone it up. four. It's been really accurate so far. Mm. Just need to realign that silver counter. If we get it down, I think it'd work. A bit too far over. Well, yes. Can slide into the gap, maybe. Ooh, just realigns. There you go. One down. 50 pounds drops in, and another 50 from oh, drop zone three. Very nice. It's all yours. It takes you to 3,000 pounds in the machine. Two to go. Okay, and I'll stick with drop zone four, please. Drop zone four again, please. Come back. Steady, 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 steady. 
steady, steady, steady. Now, what's Quick. that going to do? Yeah, not much, I don't think. Flat bang. Just a bit too far left. Yeah. Another 100 pounds, though. 3,100 pounds. And one more to go. OK. Drop zone four, please. Four up, please. Stop, 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 stop. Ooh. Wow, that was Going a bit exciting, bit, wasn't it? Yeah. Might work, though. Might work. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Coming forward. <laughs> They're clinging on, but they're coming forward, Jill. Mm, yes. Money's gone up nicely. Your jackpot counter's still looking good. Yeah. Back to the categories. We okay. have... Oh, dear, sport. I, I, you, well, you said that about astronomy and literature, and look. Well, yeah, true. You, well, yes, I'll try three. OK, sport for three. Which country hosted the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup? Canada, France or Japan? Oh, gosh. I don't know. I think I'm going to. Um, I'm, I'm going to have a guess at France. France? Yeah. Should we light it up? Go on. We're going with France. Okay, let's see. Is it France? It is! <laughs> <laughs> right then, job zone four. Yes. Fire it up, please. That'll do. Oh, no. Now, uh -oh. we could have done with that going flat. If it does... Oh, no. that would have really helped. That would have helped, yes. Oh, As it is. it's going to be tricky. OK, not to worry. Yes. Two more to go. Two more. Four okay. again. Four again. Fire it up. That's better. Slide down. Now, if it sneaks into the gap... Oh, just mm. staying a bit too tight. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. That's going to get close there, Jill. It's going to get really close. Really close. Wow. All counters drop in. £200, we're up to £3,300. Your jackpot count is right on the edge of the tipping point. One more to go as well. Drop zone four, please. Fire it up, please. One on the left, move the double forward, sit it there nicely. And take the whole shelf out. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> that would be really good. That's okay. That's going to go yeah. into the gap that you've just left. That's okay. Oh, one going down there. Is it going to track our way at all? Fifty pounds sneaks in. Okay. Three thousand three hundred fifty pounds in the machine. You're on the tipping point. You've not made one mistake with your questions. You've been flying. Keep it up. Back to the categories. We've got two left: nature and film. Okay. I love animals. Good. So I'll go for three for nature. Nature for three. The young of what creature is known as an antling? Anteater, antelope, or ant? I, for some reason, I don't think it's going to be an ant. Okay. Or maybe that is the obvious answer. Anteater, antelope. Maybe it is an ant. Do you know what? Yeah, I, I might just go for ant, because an ant, an antling. Antling, baby ant. Might be. Should we go ants? Yeah. It's your choice. Yeah, we'll we're, go with ants. We're ant. going ant. Is the young of an ant known as an antling? <laughs> <laughs> well done, Jill. Oh, dear. Funny. I don't know how you're doing this. I know, I don't know how Jill, you're doing this. Either. It is inspired because, look, you've got three more counters. The jackpot is just inches away from dropping for you. See if I can do this. Drop zone four. Drop zone four, please. Light it up, please. Oh, Jill. Good. If it goes forward the way we want it to. Come on, Jill. Is this your ten thousand pound drop? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jill, how about that? <laughs> it just feels amazing. I can't believe it. It's going to change my life. <laughs> oh, that's just lovely to hear. But £10,000 as well. And the way you've done it, Jill, with those answers to questions you had, you know, somehow found the right answer. 
some the, the wind must be blowing in the right direction or something's going right do you know what you've played a brilliant game from start to finish I just think it's been sensational. Oh, thank you, Ben. I've My had pleasure. such an amazing time. Tell me again what you're going to do with the money. Oh, mm, I'm going shopping. <laughs> <laughs> you can do whatever you like, Jill. Oh. Congratulations. Really well thank done. Thank you. Thrilled to this. Thank you. Amazing stuff. In a very tight first round, Jill leapt into the lead with her final counter into the machine. She extended her lead further in round two, but it was all still to play for going into the head-to-head -head until a stunning 15 counter drop sealed her place in the final. A clean sweep with the questions helped her expertly guide the jackpot counter towards the tipping point, and then with her lucky for some 13th counter, she dispatched the jackpot into the win zone for a very well-deserved £10,000. Not only that, you've won yourself a cocktail slushy machine, which, by the way, sounds extraordinarily brilliant, yes. and a hotel stay for two. Amazing. I say it's been a pretty good day. It's been a great day. Well done, Jill. We're thrilled to bits. It's been lovely to play alongside you. Yeah, just fantastic. Oh, thank you, Ben. So there you go. Jill's leading with £10,000. She's practically cleaned us out of prizes as well. What about that? Join us next time in the fate of former players. We're hanging the balance at the tippy point. Goodbye.